Good morning, St. Mark's, and welcome to our first Without Willis Wednesday. Um, Gina and I have been hard at work this week already planning for the renovations that we have in store for the next three weeks. We got big plans for the ministry center, for the church sanctuary. A few walls are going to need to get torn down and relocated. And I think you'll all be really excited to see what we have planned. And those details will be coming out soon. On a more serious note, um, I've been thinking a lot about the story of the rich young young man in Matthew and Mark and how, it, as, as the story goes, the rich young man comes to Jesus and asks, what does he need to do to be saved? And he says, I've, I've kept all the law. Um, I've loved my neighbor. I've loved God. Um, what, what else is there for me? And Jesus responds to him, sell all your possessions, give it to the poor, and then come and follow me. And the rich young ruler, of course, doesn't. Um, it says that he heard these words and he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. And I think there's this common interpretation and sense that he is supposed to sell all of his possessions. And, that, and there's this kind of righteousness in that. Um, and we can read the story as a call for us to live a life of righteousness that exceeds his, um, that is all in for God, that is willing to sell everything we own and, and follow God. And I think we miss the point of the story if what we take away from it is this sense that we need to do more and do it all. Um, I think what Jesus responds to the disciples when they ask who then can be saved is quite telling. And he, for he says, but Jesus looked at them, for mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. You see, I think the problem with the young rich ruler is less his unwillingness to sell all his possessions and follow Christ, and more the attitude and heart posture that he approaches Christ with, one of, of pride, um, arrogance, and putting, putting himself on the pedestal, um, that he's so self-assured in himself and what he has done and what he can accomplish, that he's closes himself off from the grace uh, that there is in Christ um, and the freedom to trust in the one who has done everything for us. Amen.